so that's done. That's all we've initted. Cool. So what's so now we need the uh, the API and the function. We can do both of those by running the uh, add API yeah. command. Boom. Okay. So in this case, we want a REST API because we're going to set up our own graph. So yeah, this is an interesting question. <clears throat> and like, I think, uh, so right so right now we have two options with Amplify. Like GraphQL is actually AppSync, like a managed GraphQL. And then REST is actually like an HTTP endpoint, which is, you know, it sounds confusing because we're going to choose right. REST. And maybe something that would be cool for us to do is for the GraphQL option, actually give the option of either AppSync or creating like a what we're about to create yeah. here. Yeah, serverless GraphQL backend. That's actually uh, back a great idea. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, but we're gonna choose REST because we, we actually want an HTTP endpoint slash GraphQL that's gonna like be Got the it. entry okay. point. So that's kind of what we're gonna, right. we're gonna choose. So I picked REST. Okay, friendly name. Uh, um, Yanni Facts. What, uh, what is it, that? Yanni what? <laughs> Yanni facts. Sex? Facts, like interesting things about Yanni. We'll make I like a Yanni, Yanni, Yanni facts, facts API. Okay, amazing. Let's do this. <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, but is that, that's not the, is that the, um, yeah, okay. Yeah, I heard Yanni fat. This will just be kind of the, the label, like okay. the API. Boom. So we're done? And kind of the name, like, it's, you know. I mean, I guess we could have called this something more like GraphQL yeah, API. No, yeah, this but, is great. You know, for this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so yeah, slash GraphQL is the path okay. that we want. Yeah. Oh, did I? Oh, there we go. Yeah, and so we want to create a new Lambda function because we don't have any. But if we had created one already with Amplify, we could pick that if we wanted to. Is that? Okay. Right. Right. Boom. So provide a friendly name for your resource. Uh, Yanni. Maybe like Apollo server. Oh, yeah. Yanni facts. I was going to say Yanni facts <laughs> function. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, well, that yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. I think that, that works. Let's do it. That goes along with our API name. So that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. And so then this will be, uh, I think it could be the same for the, the label and the function name, right? That's fine. Okay. Right, right. So one is the actual like function that's going to be in your account. The other one is like a local got reference it, to it. Got it. Which one being which? So the the lambda function name is going to be the one that's going to be in got your it. account. So like if you needed some specific name to be there, you could kind of okay. specify it. And now this is the new part, right? This is the new new right here. Being able to do this. Yeah, we just added uh, run times that are non, like before we only supported Node.js and we just added Go, Java, Python, and uh, um, .NET for all of the people watching that are Java and .NET developers, which I know there's probably like not that many, but, but if you are, there are a lot of people in those ecosystems. Yeah. <laughs> so. Nice, okay, cool. So then yeah, we'll pick Node.js, boop. Um, and in this case, we want uh, probably just hello world. Yeah, hello world is going to be fun. These are just boilerplates that kind of start you off with uh, certain, you know, things. It might be cool to actually have a GraphQL option here, also, yeah. you know, for us. Maybe we could submit a PR to kind of get a uh, serverless, like with all the dependencies you would need for GraphQL with Apollo. It would be super easy, actually. In yeah. fact, that's going to be something I work Ooh, on this nice. week. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I love it. That way, next time we don't have to do shit else. We can just choose GraphQL. <laughs> It'd be like ten minutes. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining. <laughs> um, all right, cool. Yeah, why why no PHP? Sean wants to know. Uh, we were we're working extra hard to make PHP like a first class citizen, so it it hasn't been finished yet. We do want to add Ruby though. Also, um, I think PHP and Ruby are actually things that people want. So yeah, Ruby makes a lot of sense too. Yeah, and PHP. I mean, so much of the web is still PHP. I love good old PHP. So uh, for the rest of these questions, we can get answer no, and you can kind of see they're kind of self-explanatory. Uh, like this question means is basically like if you had like a, a storage like S3 bucket or if you had another like function or wh whatever you already have in your yeah. project, like if you want to give permissions for this function to kind of call that resource, you gotcha. can do that here. But we don't right. have anything that we can All just right. choose no. 
And then, uh, no, uh, no, but this is also new, which I love. Um, I love this feature. Oh, your video just blew up again. I love when I look over and then it's like, oh, hey, shaboom. <laughs> I guess this will be like a all stream thing. I'm really curious to know what causes this and I'm going to look into that. All right. Okay. Do you want to invoke this function on recurring schedule? No, we don't, but it is cool that you can choose to do that. That's a very useful feature. Uh, yeah, so no. Boom. Do you want to edit the function now? Um, you know what? Let's just choose no, and then we'll go and open and kind of look and see what all was created. Because if we chose yes, it would basically just open it in the text editor. But we're going to open it anyway, so Got it. we can just uh, finish out here and then run uh, run up, open the, uh, this up in the text okay. editor. And we don't need to restrict API right. access because we don't really need any permissions at this point. It's going to be like our example will just be like a public gotcha. API. Cool. Uh, and no, we don't want to add another path, but that's cool. So you can actually set up multiple paths when you create the API. Like if you knew you had three or four different rest routes that you want to set up, you could just be like, boop, 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 boop. That's cool.